Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, first of all, let's create new null object for control all elements. Let's create null object and for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pen behind icon. Clization tool and select all these layers. Let's link to null object. And select this null object, let's press P. And let's move to left. Make new pass in keyframe and go to one second and move to center. So go to enable title action save. Select Q frames, make easies. And select last Q frame. Let's move to left a little bit. And select two Q frames. Move to down. Okay, so let's animation. Okay, select Q frames, go to graph editor, select this graph. Let's make smooth graph. Back to Q frame, select last Q frame, move to right. Okay, so in this time, let's create new solid for background color. Add name background. We can select color here, but I will use fill effect. Move to behind background solid layer. Go to FS Presses, search effect fill. Select this fill, let's use for background. And go to color cube. Change color like this. Click OK and let's close title action save. Look background layer and go to shape layer. Hold this icon, select this ellipse tool and make shadow for calendar. Clization tool, change stroke width zero. Go to fill, select airdropper icon, select background color and change to dark color for shadow. Click OK. Okay, so in this time, select the shape layer and hold this point, hold shift, change scale, move to down. Okay, let's change name shadow. And move to behind all these layers and link to null object. Let's see. Okay, so right now open point of sale, post compensation and select these all layers. And let's control C for copy back to the calendar. Select null object. And let's control V here. And move to center. Okay. And let's go to layer, new and null object. And select all these post layers. Link to null. Select null. Press S and change scale. Move to here. Okay, let's change scale a little bit. And select this null, let's delete. And select again these layers. Link to null object. And move to right. Okay, so first one, let's select these calendar layers and make scale morphing animation. Select blue main and press S. Click this icon, make scale keyframe, and go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down, or let me show other way. Click time duration, and write plus 10. Click OK, and change scale 0. Let's see. OK, and select this page blue, press S, click this icon, make scale keyframe, go to next keyframe, and change scale zero also select this page layer press s go to back and click this icon make sketch you frame go to next you frame and let's change scale zero and go to back select layer seven and six five four three two and one press s and click this icon And make scale keyframe, go to next keyframe, 
and chain scales 0. Ok, and select this blue line. Go to back, press S, click this icon, make sketch keyframe, and go to next keyframe and chain scale 0. Ok, so right now select this layer 1. I want to make frame by frame two frames. Select layer 2. Let's move to right these two frames. Select layer 3, move to right. And 4, move to right. And 5. And 6. And 7. Let's see. Okay, select this layer 1 to 7. And select two frames, make easies or click F9. And let's go to solo. Okay, select two frames, go to graph editor. And select these first two frames. Let's move to right. Okay, that's good. And select these last two frames. And move to left. Okay, that's good. Back to two frames and unsolo. Close this scale settings. And select these other layers for calendar. And let's right mouse easy. Go to graph editor. Select this graph. Make smooth graph. Okay, back to two frames. Select these last two frames. Move to right. And select this blue main. Let's move right a little bit like this. And page blue. And page. Let's select this page, move to right for less scale animation. Okay, that's good. So, let's see timing. Okay, very nice, and in this time, select these post layers. Okay, first one, select the layer display, and Ctrl D, select this reflection, move to inside display two layers, click toggle switch mode, change non to alpha matte display two, and let's enable reflection layer. Okay, change scale. Okay, nice. After scale animation, I will make reflection. And go to back, select this layer display to link to display layer. And select this body to display. And press S. Let's click these icons. For create scale animations. And let's create new scale two frames and go to back. So right now select this body and change scale. Let's change this zero. And select this element, change scale. I'll change this zero. Select this black display, change zero. And select this black layer, change zero and button. Change all buttons zero and button four, button five, and button six, seven, eight, and button nine, and button ten, and last one, button eleven. So select this layer display. Let's click this icon and try change zero. Let's animation. Okay, so let's go to full screen and select these all oh, two frames, make easy and go to graph editor, select this graph, make smooth graph. And select the last few frames, move to left for again smooth graph. So select work area, let's see. Okay, back to two frames. 
and select all last few frames, move to live for more fast animation. Okay, so first of all, select these button layers. Select first button, move to right, and button 2, and 3, 4, 5. All buttons make layer by layer animation. Let's see. Nice. And select this black layer display. Okay, and move to right. And this layer, move to right. Okay, and select this element. Black layer, move to right. And this layer, move to right also. Okay, select these button layers again. Move to right more. Okay, I like it. So in this time, let's close scale two frame settings and these layers. And right now select these post layers and let's make better timing. Select post layers, move to left. Let's select this work area. Move to the more. Okay, not bad, but let's select this body layer, press U, select these two Q frames, go to graph editor, and select this first Q frame, move to the left for more natural scale. And back to Q-frame, select last Q-frame, move to left. Okay, select again these post layers. Move to left. Okay, that's good. I like it. So, for dynamic animation, we can add some shape elements with animation comes as 3. Let's close this all settings. And go to window, open animation comes there 3 and starter precoms and select the shape elements and for dynamic animation we can use lines let's select and click add and select this animation comes there window move to down and let's see select this composition and press s change scale Press Air, Chain Rotation, 90. Okay, let's chain scale more. And move to here. Move to left. Okay, not bad. So let's back to animation composer 3 and we can change stroke width. Let's change this 20 and this 25. Okay, very nice. And we can make round cup. Let's zoom in here. We can make this start and end line smooth. Click this checkbox. Okay, very nice. So let's close animation comes here window and select this reflection. In this time, let's select this null object. Press S, make scale Q frame and go to here. Chain scale 125. Or let's change. 115 and go to back 
select this shadow layer and in this time press S and make scale keyframe go to here change scale like this make keyframes is this nice and select this shadow layer go to back hold shift press P make new passing keyframe and go to next keyframe and move to right for center shadow let's see nice very good and in this time select this null object one select keyframes make easies And select this first keyframe, move to left. Okay, and right now let's select this reflection layer. And move to left. And let's press P, make new passing keyframe, go to here, go to next keyframe. And move to right, like this. Also select reflection, press T and change opacity for more realistic reflection. Select reflection, press U and make two frames easy. Let's say again. Nice. So select this layer paper, enable. And in this time, let's press P, make new passing two frame and move to down and go to some keyframes move to up okay select keyframes make easy and let's select work area and select keyframes go to graph editor select this graph let's make smooth graph okay back to keyframes and right now let's go to layer new and solid layer and change name mask click ok and change scale let's put here this solid layer like this and select this mask layer move to behind lines and select this mask and layer paper link to null object and select this paper layer and go to none if you don't see this part click toggle switch mode and click none select alpha inverted matte mask let's see nice and select this paper first keyframe move it down okay very nice so let's see timing Okay, so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.